I want legs, hips, chiffon, seduction. I'll tell you when to be happy. Beautiful. Into the eyes, into the lens. Make love into the lens. Okay, that's it. Thank you, Sean. Excuse me, please. Sure. They're going to make a rug out of it. They're all over her. Nah, would you relax? They don't want to damage her. They just want to admire a pretty girl. Come on, Tana. She could get hurt. She could even get scratched. You know what a scratch is to a beautiful piece of sculpture like that? She's worth a million bucks on a hook. Look, if they didn't love her, you don't have a percentage of nothing, right? You were hired to keep her safe, not to count my income. That's right, but Sean hired me, not you. Look, if I promise to take care of your percentage of that body, could I please admire the rest of it in peace? Yeah, that's it, everyone. Oh, no. Thank you very much. Oh, no. Oh, no. Catch you there, Blake. Thank you. Oh, no. oh, that's the number one model in the world, huh? She's beautiful. Stop leering at her. You're supposed to be used to beautiful women. Look, I'm setting you up as representatives of the number one cosmetics company in the world, Damour Cosmetics. Now, you remember that? I'll write that on my cuff. When are we going to meet her? Tonight, I'll let you know what time. Good. I'll memorize my act by then. Besides, she's going to be passed out cold long before she'll detect any flaws in our story. Look, I want you to be very careful with the drugs. I don't want to hurt. I just want her in my pocket, that's all. You do your part, we'll do ours. Oh, oh, one more thing. She insisted on a private investigator to coordinate with security while we're here. Now, his name is Dan Tana. Relax, Finer. We'll deliver what we're paid for. If Tana gets in the way, we'll take him out. Permanently. Are you finished with the examination? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, uh, I didn't mean to stare. It's, uh, well, it's just that uh, <laughs> you, you're, you're very beautiful. Thank you. 
Are you blushing? Blushing? Me? Blushing? No. Uh, no, it's uh, it's the sun. I, I'm flushed. I was outside in the sun, but I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm blushing. You're a liar, Mr. Tanner. Me lie? I was a Boy Scout. I, I'm a Vietnam veteran. I'm a, I'm a licensed private detective. I mean, a, a man with those credentials uh, couldn't possibly blush. I, I mean, why? You blushed. <laughs> well, well, maybe just a little, which makes it only half a blush and half a lie. Well, I, I, I guess I uh, ought to be going now. Um, unless you like, I could stick around and blush for you again. I'd love it. But look, how about a rain check? How about dinner tomorrow night? OK. I'd just like to relax tonight in this luxury and get one night of total privacy. I never seem to get time to myself anymore. You got it, pretty lady. Tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, Angie, this is a business phone. You don't answer a business phone. Hi, it's me, Angie. Where's Beatrice? Dan? Of course, it's Dan, silly. Hi, Dan. <laughs> Bea asked me to cover. See, she had to take her son to the ortho... But, you know, a brace is on the teeth, doctor. Uh, an orthodontist. Okay, Lana, let's take it from that point. Uh, who wants me for what, when, and where? What? Are there any messages, Angie? Oh, sure. <laughs> okay. A Mr. Roth called, and he yelled a lot. He sounded real mad. Yeah, well, that's rough. Anything else? <gasps> oh, no. I spilled it, Dan. I spilled it all over. Do you think it will stain the rug? Uh, I'm sure it will, Angie, whatever it is. Uh, I'll talk to you later. What do you want from me? I'm not a zookeeper. You're supposed to be my number one super duper detective, right? Right. All right, help me worry about my five hotel six. I bought one yesterday. Uh, you owe me another check. No, I don't. This is a retirement hotel off the strip. What are they going to do, steal a bedpan? Half the time, I can't even find you. You probably don't even know the names of the hotels that support you. I have them tattooed on my lids. I close my eyes, and I see your entire empire. I have a lot of clients, Slick. You're the only one who wants me to be a zookeeper. I'm asking you, me, Philip Roth, all $400 million worth of me. Please. It's a theft. She's the proceeds of a robbery. She's a lion. I don't know anything about a lion. And what are you doing with a lion? Your jaguar breakdown? No, my patience breaks down. It's not my lion. It belongs to a friend of mine. His name is Rene. Rene. He's the magician at the Circus Circus. Lucille is in his act. That's the lion. Don't look at me funny. I've known him for 20 years. He asked me to do him a favor. What am I going to do, turn him down? Look, you want to do Rene a favor? Why don't you find his lion? You work for me, you find the OK, lion. OK, OK. Can you help me out? Uh, I mean, who in the heck would want to steal a lion? Gold in my ear, Tarzan, Sheen of the Jungle. How do I know? Maybe it's a lion freak. You're the only one I know. Daniel, please, would you do me a favor? There. Here's a picture of it for my wallet, Renee sent me. Ah, yes. That's Lucille. That's Lucille. This is Lucille? Mm -hmm. That happens to be a male lion, Slick. It's a male lion, the mane, the mane. It's a male lion. You're a detective, not a gynecologist. And what difference does it make? It's harmless. Oh, harmless. He doesn't look harmless. I mean, does he know he's harmless? Does he have a diploma from the University of Harmless? Las Vegas private detective mauled by lion. Film at 11. Terrific. Find the lion before it eats a tourist. Hmm. Good. Hmm. I told you to get out of town. Oh, hello. <laughs> I didn't recognize you. Uh, I, listen, I left. I really left. I was gone. Oh, yeah, but you're here. Well, I was almost, almost left, and then, but then I wasn't. Uh -huh. I, but look, I'm not a wise guy anymore. No more being a shadow for very shadowy people. <laughs> no, like I promised you, I quit, quit that, that sucker, sucker flat. That's good. Flat. That's good. <laughs> Believe me, dangerous. Not in my life. <laughs> I'm a very law-abiding citizen. Binzer, the law abider. It's good. So you, uh, you're working here as a towboy, huh? Yeah, towel person. You know, it's, it's not, a, not a bad job. A lot of sunshine, fresh air, pretty girls to look at. Listen, how'd you like to pick up some extra money? Doing what? 
Doing a little legwork for me. Legwork? You mean private eye labor? What are you, crazy? You told me to get out of the business. I know, I Look, know. see, you agree with me. Look, I'm not meant for this business. I got lower back pain. The knees are not. Did I tell you I have a punctured eardrum? It's not dangerous. It's not? It's not. You're sure? I'm sure. I could use the extra money. Well, good, then it's settled. What do I have to do? I find a runaway lion. That doesn't sound. What do you mean, runaway lion? Wait a minute. I know, I know, I know you told me, but. But you can't quit me now. You can't. I have to, Matt. Look, I know you're broke, but you're always broke. No matter how much money we make, you're always broke. I can't help you anymore. I've loaned you all my savings. Look. Matt, look, my contract's up. Can't we just part friends? You, you don't even have to pay me any of the money you owe me. Do you think that Fredericks could handle you any better than I did? I've made you the biggest moneymaker in the business. From Miss America to this, now you want to cut me out? Is that it? I've given you half of everything I've ever made. Look. Now, all I want to do is rest. I want to do something else. But you won't let me. You never would, and you won't now. Look, I can deliver Damour Cosmetics a million dollars a year for five years. Now, they happen to be in town right now. Will you at least meet them? Just meet them. It's not the money, Nat. I've given my word. I'm going to sign with Paul Fredericks. He's the most reputable manager in the business. Please, baby, please. Just speak to them. It's the last thing I'll ever ask you. I swear it. Please. What time, Nat? Now, there you are, and there you are. Very nice. Uh, now, if you could just get Lucille to reappear, you could save us all a lot of trouble. Oh, I don't think that's in very good taste, Mr. Tanner. Uh, you better behave yourself, Mr. Rene, or I'll make your fancy name disappear and tell everyone your real name, Izzy Salkowitz, the Bronx, 1926. Sure, I forgot your name. Hey, don't tell anybody. Oh, you, no, no, I won't tell They all think I'm British. Listen, so tell me about the lion. Oh, she's gone. I need a lion. So, uh, rent one. Are you kidding? I'm afraid of lions. Outside of Lucille, I'm afraid of all animals. Dogs, tigers, even mean-eyed pussycats. Uh, Izzy, you got big problems. So has Lucille. She's a he lion. I know, but if she's a he, why does he have a she name? I don't know. That's the way I bought him. That's the name he answers to. What, am I going to fight with a lion? <laughs> OK, so where's the cage he's missing from? Oh, he don't have no cage. He sleeps in the bathroom. Oh, uh, why? Does Lucille have a problem? No, no, he just likes the cool tile. Huh. And if a lion wants to stay in the bathroom, a lion, a lion stays, stays in, in the bathroom, bathroom yeah. yeah. I'm worried. I got to get that lion back. She hasn't eaten all day. Her bowl has still got the meat and the garlic in it. Come on, Izzy. Where would anyone hide a full-grown lion? In a bathroom. That makes sense. Miss Adams, if you'll just give me one more minute, it wouldn't be fair to our board of directors if I didn't make one more strong attempt. Gentlemen, please. I'm sorry, but... Mr. Finer here thinks this would be very advantageous for you. And we're willing and prepared to offer you the security of a million-dollar-a-year contract with deferred payments over a 20-year period. Mm-hmm. She's out. Uh, we won't need you for this, Nat. Just wash out Sean's glass. We'll call you in a couple of hours. Bring the car around the side. I'll take it down the back staircase. <laughs> we move away. I want to get these before she comes to. Very nice. Oh, Tana. Hey, Dad. This is 
Jake at the Midnight Motel. I got one very scared little lady out here. She finally spit out your name. Well, what's her name? Dawn or Sean, something like that. She's a beauty, though. Uh, thanks, Jake. Jake, uh, bring me the rest of the clothes from Lost and Found and, and lock this place up for the rest of the day. Yeah, I owe you one. Can you remember any more about last night? I told you. I, I passed out and I woke up there. Two men, Hayden and Fuller, and your old buddy Nat Finer, right? Nat's my friend. I can't believe he'd have anything to do with this. I can. You put these on, keep your head down. We're going in the rear entrance. Come on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. an emergency situation to me, Dan. Yeah, and you don't look civilized. Looks can be deceiving, right? I left a mare rare to fold to be here. What's the beef? Well, I, I want you to stay with a friend. She's sleeping. Very famous, very pretty. Someone drugged her, took some not-so-pretty pictures of her. She's a good lady. You coming back? After I see your manager. You're supposed to be on a plane and gone. You took the pictures, you delivered them, you got paid. Now it's all over for you. We like the deal. It may very well be a larger payoff than we anticipated. Sean Adams gets million a year contracts. What are you talking about? The whole thing was a phony. I set it up myself, remember? True. But the next deal won't be a phony. The real representatives of Damore Cosmetics, why, they'd be delighted to have her on a contract. We're going to be your new partners. Like head you are. In that case, since we've got the pictures, we don't need you. Metropolitan Police, Sergeant Archer. I love you. Then pay me, Dan Tanner. Bella, how'd you know it was me? Now listen, I haven't broken anything in over a week. You will. Your credit's good. Meanwhile, send me 10 bucks for a parking ticket. And you get one favor included in this package deal. What do you want? Annette Finer, F-I-N-E-R. Is he a friend? I'm on my way to his room, uh, but I don't think so. 
Save yourself a trip. He's in the rear alley at 1st and Fremont with 238 caliber bullets in him. He's been dead about two hours. Thanks, Bella. Tana sent me. I'm, I'm a friend. My name's Two Leaf. I forgot my peace pipe. Offer you some food instead. Are you hungry? I think so. Do you know about those photos? Well, say something, for God's sake. I did before. Dan sent me. I'm a friend. Thank you. Thank you both. Daniel, are you supposed to be working for me? There's something about finding a lion. That's right. So well, why are you asking me questions about a fashion model and a corpse, huh? Do you have any idea how much energy you'd save if you didn't get so excited? I'll find it. Daniel, excitement is one of the great pleasures in life. You'll probably find that out when you grow up. I want the carpeting in the cocktail lounge changed. It smells from scotch. You don't want me to change Not it, Not you, you, them. Please. So, uh, what about Nat Finer? He was a hustler. A two-bit hustler. That Sean Adams girl, she should have gotten 100 grand for the layout she did. But he undercut her. He made a deal with me for $50,000. 25 up front. Now, I made the deal myself. And I love nothing better than to beat a hustler at his own game. Oh, by the way, tell Sean she's got 25,000 coming. She can pick it up anytime she wants. So, uh, Finer negotiated a half price deal, right? No, my dear boy. I negotiated. Oh, he you, accepted. Yes, you got it? Okay, huh? I got it. Yeah. Right. Finer. He was a scammer. He was broke all his life. All his life. He liked to live big. I check out everybody I do business with. The girl, she checked out fine. But finer, he was swimming in quicksand. He had two townhouses, OK? Yeah. 6000 a month rent. He was three months behind. He lived big, though, but he had loans on everything and owed everybody in town. He loved pens, credit cards. Made a lot of money, though, but spent more than he earned, just like you, for clothes, obviously. <laughs> That's the American dream, Slick. American dream, huh? To dream, you've got to sleep. I know, and don't sleep on your time, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's OK. Tonight, you're off. You know what I've done for us? What have you done? I've made a date for you and me with those two sisters at the Tropicana. The Dolly the sisters. Yes, the uh, rather voluptuous figures. Uh, yeah, you know, the ones. right. We're going to go out to Lake Mead. I've got my boat all set up. Well, we're going to have a box uh, lunch. Uh, Slick, I I've already got a date tonight. Oh, I'm yeah. so sorry. Isn't that a shame for you? Well, I just have to take him out myself, I guess. I'm sure you can handle it. I am sure, too. Yes. Well, follow that yellow brick road and get me that... Lion. Right. <laughs> I can't believe Nat had anything to do with this. He was a lot of things that weren't any good, but I could always trust him. Nat was broke. You were his only real source of income. Lose you and lose it all. Now, I think he set up the porno thing to blackmail you into staying with him. Somewhere along the line, it blew up in his face. Oh, I can't believe that. Hello? Is Sean Adams? Yes. I assume you received our picture postcards and have not gone to the police. 
we could spread thousands of those over the country in days. There's a package waiting for you outside the door. Read it. Sign it. Leave a message at the desk for Mr. Smith tomorrow morning. I'll call back with instructions. How much do they want? It's a five-year management contract. They want you. Bella's off duty, but she's waiting for you. See if they can lift any fingerprints off these contracts and compare them to everything we have so far. We can bet three for four we could tie this all together. She's sure pretty bad. She might crack. She's nice, Dan. Well, I think she'll hold up if I just have enough time. Uh, you keep in touch, OK? Where are you going? I'm going to take Sean to dinner, then back to my place. It'll be safer there. <laughs> That's it. I'm sorry. Come on. Where are we going? We're leaving. Hi. Come on. Thanks, Max. Don't say a thing or you'll wait all night for your next order. Now go get some silverware and bring a bottle of white wine, Moselle. Uh, that's the best deal in town. Oh, Max, it looks beautiful. Good. You do this often? No, I usually have fish. Ah. You're beautiful. So are you, Max. And you can cook. Any time. And you don't even have to bring him. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you find Lucille yet? How'd you know about Lucille? I feed her also. Her? Yeah, her. Huh? Lucille sound like a hymn to you? Mm, you do bring all your dates here. I don't know. I've never had dinner with Lucille. You tell me, Max. I can believe you. Well, I grind up the leftovers and uh, some fresh garlic for her. Now, when did you start feeding Lucille? Oh, since Izzy, I mean Mr. Rene, can't get credit at the uh, butchers, I could refuse him. 
He said Lucille was pregnant. The poor girl. Ah, uh, yeah, and no husband. <laughs> and not even engaged. Her boyfriend's act moved to Reno. Who is this Lucille? <laughs> Now, Lucille happens to be a lion who likes to hide in bathrooms. A lion? Don't ask, just eat. I have to explain the facts of life to Max. Now, Max, my boy, we've got the birds, we got the bees, and then we got the lions. As soon as they split up, we'll eliminate Tanner. Why don't we just hit the girl for some cash and take off? As long as she's using Tanner, we know she hasn't gone to the police. We get rid of him, she'll be alone, and we own the girl for life. At this point, we've got nothing to lose. Nobody's gonna get hurt. That's all right. I know them. Those men. Who were they? Hayden and Fuller. Didn't you see them? No. But I'm going to. It's okay. Oh. Sean Adams, Sean Adams B. You rushed me all the way over here after working two shows in a chorus line, introduced me to a date. Well, it's not just an introduction. Don't you know who Sean Adams is? Of course I know who she is. She's recognizable. She's gorgeous, too. Well, uh, I wish I could say the same for my car. I had a little accident. I'm gonna have to borrow yours again, okay? Okay. You're gonna have to check the oil, though, because it's burning it like gas. Oh, thank you. And why don't you come over here and relax for a while, because you're in the safest place in this crazy city. Oh, look at her. She even looks great now. It's not fair. I have to work so hard at it. Hey, Tuleaf called. He's at the ranch. And he said you batted three out of four. And Angie left you a pot of homemade stew. Oh, did you throw yeah, it out? Yeah, I threw it out. Oh, good. And Bincer said that he's on the trail of the pussycat, whatever that means. Oh, good. And my message to you is for you to go in there and take a shower and get some sleep. When are you and Bella going to let me ruin my health and peace, huh? Because Bella loves you, and I treat mean little kids this way. Mm -hmm. Stay here tonight. You take my bed, I'll take the couch. Okay, have Binzer meet me at Bruno's Meat Market in the morning, and then call Tuleaf and tell him I need him here to watch Sean when I'm gone. Okay. Feeling better? I want this to be over with. I'm going to pay them anything they want. I'm not going to let you do that. Because, Sean, if you pay them, it'll never be over. Mm. Ow! Look, just leave the spoon in. It'll cool. Now. Read me back the information on Lucille and just skip the past owner. Okay, former owners, blah, blah, boom, 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 boom. Um, an African lion owned by Isidore Salkowitz with a lien of $2,300 held by the New York Meat Company. What is this New York Meat Company lien supposed to mean? It seems Lucille has a mortgage. A lion with a mortgage?
Here I've got Lucille. But it ain't stealing, it's a repossession. Uh, Bruno, it's a lion. It's property. It's the only thing that phony Englishman owns. The law says that I can place a lien on property and repossess it if I don't get paid. It's not a repossession unless you own the lion in the first place. He owed me $1,400. Then he signs over Lucille and me on a guarantee. Then he runs up another $900. Well, I'm holding on to Lucille until I get paid. At least I can afford the meat. Uh, listen, Bruno, I'd like to get Lucille back, OK? You got $2,300? You've got some use for a pregnant lion? Pregnant? To him, lion. <laughs> well, I finally found someone who knows the difference. <laughs> it's worth a try. Hey, we gonna be a father? <clears throat> you want a deal for Lucille? Well, sure, I'll take Lucille off your hands. You'll need money. I'll need a phone. You got it. Tough, very tough man. I hope it's a boy. What do you want? <laughs> oh. Two Leaf is on his way over here. You'll be all right. Alive, maybe, but not all right. There's still those pictures and those men. I'm going to pay them anything they want. Hey, Dan will take care of them. They're going to kill anyone who gets in their way. They've already killed Ned. Those pictures are going to be all over the country. I don't think Dan can stop them. Believe me, honey, if anybody can, he can. Okay? I'm going to go take a shower. Okay. Yeah, that's right. 1,200 is the least I'll take. Uh, Slick, the man wants 1200 Offer him four. I know he's gonna yell. Then you offer him six and calm him down. Hold on, will you? I want bubbles. I'm not getting enough bubbles. I think you need a bigger pump. Now, I'm not an engineer, and I don't know about that stuff, but I know I want bubbles. Bubbles. Uh, uh listen, I'm gonna skip the four and go right to six, so just be calm. A thousand is the least I'll take. Uh, uh, Slick, look, he wants a thousand. A thousand? Look, offer him 800 I want 25% ownership and immediate possession. OK, look, we'll, we'll give you uh, 800 for 25%, and we take Lucille. 1,000 for 20%. OK, you got it. Uh, did you hear that, Slick? I heard that. You went over my price. Since when did you take over? What are you, an heir to a fortune or something? <laughs> oh, ow! Rocky belong to you? He's on a lease. What lease? I want Lucille now. Uh, uh, Slick, listen, relax. Uh, you got Lucille. She'll be on your doorstep in an hour. And by the way, uh, Lucille is definitely a him lion. All right, you got 20-20 vision. And Renee's got Lucille, OK? Goodbye. So where's my lion? He's in the job. Let's get him. Who? Well, you got the leash. Don't worry. He's a pussycat. Uh. Lucille. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Now, I, 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 I know you're not a kitty, but liney, liney, liney sounds terrible. <laughs> Look. Look what Bruno gave me for you, huh? Uh, come on. Come on, here you go. Take my house, my car, anything you want. I've got a bathroom you're gonna love. Huh? Okay, Ben's the leash. Benzer, you're fired. Nice kitty. Boy, you have been eating at Max's, haven't you? Now listen, uh, it's just me and you, Lucille. 
think anybody's gonna understand this, huh? This relationship, huh? <laughs> Okay, Lucille? Huh? You all right? That's what I think. Tana. Dan, she's gone. She slipped out before Tulip got here. I'm sorry, Dan. And Roth called. Uh, Sean picked up that $25,000. She said she'd rather pay the money than see you get hurt. She's probably leaving the hotel now to meet him. Give Tuleaf a radio and tell him to head for the DI. I want to leave a message for Mr. Hayden. Uh, I mean, Mr. Smith. This is Mr. Smith, sweetheart. Well, you made a very wise choice. Bring 25,000 in small bills. Meet me behind the clubhouse at Desert Inn in 10 minutes. Yeah, man! Tulip, where are you? I'm right behind you. Don't lose them, Dan. Just don't lose them. It looks like she's heading for the country club. Them, Sarge. They're scum, Dan. They did a bad thing to that nice little lady. I know. I want them both. I want them bad. I'm sorry, pal. You can have Fuller, but Hayden's mine. Okay, Sarge, go around back. We'll hit them from both sides. Now they're probably armed. It won't matter. <laughs> find our five-year association quite pleasant, Miss Adams.
snap you in half. Until I get the negatives. Trade me for the negatives? I want the negatives now. You can't kill me. Yeah, you can't. You're a slime. I'll kill you and you'll seep right back into the earth. You're in the car. In the glove compartment! You'll never know how much I wish you hadn't told me that. Man, we're toward nothing. Oh, yes, a tour. Line to lunch. Hey, now you're talking. 